so before start a discussion on the today's topic i would like to tell you please subscribe my channel so you can see on this channel up till now i have covered the project on arduino project on the raspberry pi project on the python programming python programming web application and all the project details i have covered from very basics to advanced so if you want to learn the raspberry pi arduino python web application designing from me please subscribe my channel all the projects are free and i will not take any single rupees pro from you for that projects only point is you have to watch the complete video and try to execute all the project at your end from today onwards i will add the new playlist that is the peak controller peak mic controller application designing so in this playlist also we will try to cover more than 50 topics so if you want to learn the embedded system again from me then please subscribe my channel please support me hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can interface mq2 sensor with peak mic controller so before start this next part i would like to tell you what we will cover in this video so we will cover the so we will cover how to connect this all this hardware with peak mic controller in proteus software then we will see the importance of each and every line to design this project so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay before start the next part first we will see the practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea about what you will learn from this video so you can see on the screen we have the mq2 sensor then buzzer and pick my controller so once i give the one signal to this mq2 sensor that means the fire detector or gas is detected by this mq2 sensor or alcohol is detected by this mq2 sensor then once the mq2 sensor detect that alcohol the signal sent to the pick, pick my controller then after that pick my controller detect whether there is a one or zero signal from this mq2 sensor or not if there is a one signal then buzzer will turn on and buzzer start ringing if there is zero signal then buzzer stop ringing so this is the basic flow about about this project now we will see the practical demonstration now let's see the practical demonstration of this project so you can see once i start this project so currently buzzer is not ringing because i have given the zero signal from this mq2 sensor so once i change the one signal the buzzer start ringing now i am, I am changing the signal to the one again if i give the zero signal then buzzer stop ringing then stop ringing so this is the complete idea behind this project i hope you understand the practical demonstration of this project now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the programming part now we will see the hardware connection part so before start the hardware connection part uh, it is very important you should have the mq2 sensor library in your laptop if you don't have the mq2 sensor library in your laptop then please watch my this video how to simulate gas sensor with raspberry pi video so in that video i have told you how to install this library in your laptop so if you don't have the library please watch this video and you will get library in your, in your laptop and in, in your protest software this uh, uh, video link uh, this video link I, I will provide in the description so please watch that video to install the mq2 sensor library okay once you have the mq2 sensor library installed in your laptop then you can open the protest software just right click on the protest uh, software and run as administrator click on yes button so i am using the protest 8.9 software uh, if you have any new any other software then also you can follow the same step no issue so just go to the new project then after that you can give your project name here then path here where you want to save the project then click on next button then just click on uh, select this create schematic click on next button select this do not create a PCB layout click on next button no firmware project click on next button and then click on finish so once you click on finish you will find the blank window here then here we will draw our circuit so first part is we have to uh, we have to take the mc uh, peak controller so just go to the component mode then click on p and type here peak 18f4550 so once you have the peak protein 4550 click on here click on ok and place that controller here so this is our main controller now once you have the pick controller now the next part is we have to connect the mq2 sensor so once you install the library you will find that sensor here so just go to the component mode and click on p and type here mq2 so once you type mq uh, then you will find this mq2 mq3 sensor just select this sensor click on ok and place that sensor here 
then after that you have to connect the vcc pin of that mqt sensor to power supply so go to terminal mode and click on here you can see power and place that power here then after that connect that vcc pin to the power then ground pin should be connected to ground so again terminal mode you can see again terminal mode i have selected then click on ground button and place that ground here and connect that ground to ground then this test pin should be connected to uh, logic state so just go to a component mode then click on p and type here logic state so once you type logic state you can select any logic state like this i have selected this and click on ok and play that logic state here from here we can change the signal 1 to 0 so connect that logic state like this then after that this output pin should be connected to the pick my controller so just go to terminal mode click on default and place one default pin like this and connect that default pin like this to here double click on this default pin and give, give your name mq2 so once you give mq2 it will connect like this so we have to connect this mq2 so we have to connect this mq2 pin to the rb4 pin so just go to again terminal mode click on default and place that default pin like here and connect that rb4 here double click on this pin and give your name mq2 and click on ok then after that pick this pin vpp pin should be connected to power so go to terminal mode and click on power you can see power here and place that power here and connect that power to this vpp pin click on ok so in this way we complete the mq2 sensor with pick my controller now the next part is we have to load the hex file into this mq2 sensor okay now the next part is we have to load the hex file into this mq2 sensor so for that we require the hex file of this mq2 sensor so first download this folder from my google drive link mq2 sensor with the pic i will provide this link in the description so once you download the folder you will get zip file unzip that file then you will find all these files so in this file you will find this gas sensor library file you can see this one copy this file go to the proteus software like here double click on this mq2 sensor click on this folder and paste that path so once you paste that path you will find the hex file like this gas sensor temp hex file click on open and click on ok so in this way we complete the mq2 sensor with the pick my controller now once you have the mq2 sensor with pick my controller next we have to connect the buzzer so how to connect buzzer just again go to the terminal mode uh, sorry component mode click on p and type here first npn so we require npn transistor so select this transistor as the npn you can see generic bipolar transistor click on ok and place the transistor here then after that here uh, the here the ground pin should be connected to ground so go to terminal mode click on ground and place one ground pin like here and connect that ground to ground then again go to default place one default pin like here to the transistor connect here double click on this pin and give your name buzzer click on ok then after that we have to connect buzzer here so go to component mode click on p and type here buzzer and select this dc operated via sound card buzzer click on ok and place that buzzer here then connect that buzzer pin like this and this buzzer pin should be connected to power so so again go to terminal mode and click on power and place that power here connect that power to this here double click on this buzzer and give your operating voltage as 5 volt click on ok so after that this buzzer pin should be connected to the pick my controller so this buzzer pin should be connected to rc2 pin of pick my controller so just go to terminal mode again click on default pin and place that rc2 pin like here right click rotate 180 degree connect that rc2 pin like here and double click here same name you can give buzzer so each and every name should be same capital small letter should be same with the buzzer like this so then and then only it will connect like here also mq2 mq2 also name should be same like here so in this way we complete the buzzer part now if you want to give the box to this any circuit just go to the square box then click on pin and you can draw like box like this then you can give the name you can go to the a and give the pin and place here and give the name like this buzzer and click on ok so again go to the arrow and you can increase the size of this buzzer like this double click on that and you can increase size like this 
and place like this here so in this way we complete the hardware part now we will test this circuit now once we complete the hardware part we have to test this circuit so for that we require the hex file for this project so where you find open your mplab ide software so if you don't have the mplab ide software in your laptop so if you don't have the mplab id in your uh, in your laptop then i recommended you please watch this video led blink project by using pick my controller so in this video i explain you how to install that software in your laptop and also the co required compiler so if you don't have please watch this video this video link also i will provide in the description so just open the mplab id software right click run as administrator click on yes button then after that you can go to the project and click on open project so once you click on open project go to again my downloaded folder mp2 sensor with the pick then you will find here uh, mplab software that mplab program click on open so once you click on open you can see ready made program you will available here so double click on this file then this file will be open and uh, this program x file we needed so just right now just compile this program just click on this build all button so once you click on build all button you will find the x file path from here copy this path and then again go to your the circuit design double click on this pick software uh, pick controller click on this folder paste that path x file path here click on ok and then save this project then click on this run button so once you click on this run button i will just test whether this project working or not so you can see project working that means our hardware connection is completed and it is working perfectly now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code i already told you how to open this code so first line is hash include uh, 18f4450 so basically whatever the controller we are using that header file we need to add here and those are some basic setting like this uh, oscillator setting or timer setting so those are basic setting now the next part is mq2 sensor you can see we have connected to the rb4 so as per the circuit you can see mq2 sensor we are connected to rb4 pin so so in the program we have to define mq2 sensor with the rb4 name here port b rb4 same buzzer we have connected to rc2 so that uh, connection we have defined here then after that uh, one function ms delay then after that main function started so first point is we have to uh, activate the pull up register uh, port b because because port b act as the input pin so we have to act uh, we have to turn on the pull up register uh, if we don't turn on the pull up register then this pin considered as a floating pin that means whatever the signal it is giving considered as a 0 or 1 random signal so to avoid that error we have to give the activate the pull up register so by this line we are activating the pull up register then trace b and uh, you can see trace b 4 is equal to 1 so basically whenever we want to use any pin uh, pick my control pin as an input pin then we have to provide trace register as a one signal trace b b4 because we are using the rcb you can see rb4 pin so that's why trace b4 pin as a one because it acts as an input then you can see trace c2 is equal to 0 because as per the circuit our buzzer is connected to rc2 that means this pin as a act as a output pin so to working to consider this pin as output pin we have to give trace c bit c2 because c2 is rc2 pin is 0 that's why it is working as a output pin so to define any pin as an input or output we are using this two line then at the starting we have to turn off the buzzer so to turn off the buzzer just we have to send the zero signal on this pin so how to send the zero signal buzzer is equal to zero so buzzer mean ultimately port c bits rc2 is equal to zero so we are turning on the buzzer then while one this loop will be continue infinite number of time then after that mq2 so basically when any person give the one signal to here then this signal transfer to the mq2 and this mq2 nothing but the rb4 pin so here we are checking whether rb4 pin mq2 nothing but here you can see rb4 pin is 1 or 0 
if it is one that means if it is one then we have to turn on the buzzer so how to turn on the buzzer we have to send the one signal on this rc2 so how to send the one signal buzzer is equal to one so buzzer means port c rc buzzer means port c rc2 so that means buzzer this pin rc2 pin is nothing but the one as per the circuit you can see rc2 pin one so this buzzer one will give to this transistor and this buzzer will turn on so here if the sensor is detect one then buzzer will turn on if the sensor detects zero we have to send the zero signal on this buzzer so this is the simple logic behind this code i hope you understand the logic behind this code now we will see how to run my ready-made project now if you don't want to design this circuit by yourself you can use my ready-made simulation so how to open that ready-made simulation i will tell you just go to the protease 8 point and software so if you want my ready-made simulation then you require protease 8.9 software otherwise it will not working at your end so just open protease 8.9 software with administrator administrator permission uh, then after that click click on this open project then again go to my downloaded folder so you can see this is my downloaded folder pick then mq2 sensor here you will find the protease project so just open this mq2 sensor pick protease project the ready-made simulation you will available here then first you have to load the x file of this mq2 sensor double click here go to the folder load this x file gas sensor x file where you find in the folder itself you will find gas sensor library open this x file you will find that one then after that pick controller x file where you find just compile this project protease project how to open protease project i already told in the video so watch that video carefully so copy this x file path once you click on build copy the file path go to here double click on this pick go to the folder paste that path click on ok and click on ok then after that just click on this run button so once you click on this run button protease protease ready-made project start working click on one you can see buzzer start ringing in buzzer so in this way we completed the uh, project I hope you understand the complete project and the program also. If you like my video, please, if you like my content, then please click on like button. Please subscribe my channel. Please support me.